Hi there, Joe Saborn here. With the gloaming out this week, uh, I wanted to do a quick video on the guitar that I used for 100% of the record. Um, I, uh, I got this guitar um, almost a year ago, uh, it'll be a year this summer, um, and it is my dream boat of a guitar. Um, it is a 2002 uh, Martin HD 28. Um, rosewood back and sides and a Sitka spruce top. Um, it is absolutely heavenly. Um, just a very versatile guitar, beautiful sound, um, and a beautiful, beautiful guitar. Um, super duper resonant and super duper lightweight. Uh, which were all really important things to me when I went to find an acoustic. Um, over the summer, I was doing uh, more and more gigs where my my Blue Ridge wasn't cutting it. I had a, a Blue Ridge BR163, very creative name, uh, that I that I played for all of my acoustic gigs, and it was great and it, for a long while. But with some recording dates on the horizon, I figured it was time to get a Martin again. Um, I had a Martin, a, a less expensive Martin, that the top just kind of exploded and it didn't sound the way it sounded when, when I first bought it after that. So I went on the search, um, I, had, I had some guitars I wanted to move on, and just kind of went on the hunt and went, you know what, I think it's finally time that I, I get an HT28, because um, for the longest time I thought that was what my great-grandfather had. Uh, it turns out he had an HD35, but none of the pictures had uh, shown the back of the guitar. So from the front, it, it looked like an HD28 to me. Um, so I went to I went to Craigslist and, and started looking for looking for Martins. Um, you know, just kind of looking at everything, but really keeping my eye on on HD28. Uh, and so when I finally found one. Uh, I was surprised to learn that it was also from um, my my birth month and my birth year. Um, I was not born in 2002. The story goes a different direction. Um, so I, I went to this guy's house, and and I get about 10 minutes away from his house, and he goes, uh, I, um, I'm really sorry, but I, I actually just just traded that, that, 2000, or that 1992 HD28. And I said, uh, that's, that's a bummer. That's, he said, are you, are you still interested? I got a bunch of guitars here, you know. Um, I said, yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking to, to upgrade to a Martin. So, uh, you know, and I'm, I'm 10 minutes out, so I guess I'll, I'll pop mine. And he, uh, when I got there, he had, he had, man, he had guitars. He had Guilds, he had Martins, he had, you know, Taylors. Um, all just kind of out on stands. He said, well, just start trying them. And I, I spent some time, I played a Shenandoah, I played a couple of different Martins, I played a very beautiful, beautiful, heavy guild uh, from the 70s that, that I just, it was all mahogany and it, it was dark and it was not, not my sound. And um, I came about this close to leaving without a guitar and the guy goes, well the guy who, who picked up the, 90, the 92 brought a different HD28 that he traded, he, he did a partial trade with me for it. And I said, okay. And he said, it's got some top cracks, you know, and he, he said, you know, I, I don't want to, I don't want to sell you something with top cracks for, you know, what it would go for. So I'll give you a good price on it. And I said, well, let me, let me give it a try. And, uh, and he pulls this out of the case. And the first thing that I noticed is how, um, light colored the rosewood is and how light the guitar is. And I, I played like one chord on the thing and I was like crap I have to leave with this guitar <laughs> and we wheeled and dealed I played the thing for about 20 minutes in the guy's basement we wheeled and dealed and and, um, and finally I, I left with the guitar and, and without the two guitars I had brought to trade and, um, and so I take it home and I'm like I got a gig in like half an hour 45 minutes I, I strung it up real quick and, and headed to the gig and just instantly you know, started having people say, man, that, you play that guitar, like it was made for you. Which I never got with my Blue Ridge or with, with other guitars beforehand. And so, um, so I've really fallen, fallen in love with this guitar. Um, 
currently it's got um, it's got a K and K under the under the bridge plate. Um, I wanted something really really lightweight. Didn't really care if it sounded uh, awesome because I use a I use a preamp on stage and I can really really work with it. And ninety percent of the time I'm actually gigging with with a microphone when I can. Um, and so uh, it's got the K and K. It's got um, unbleached bone, beautiful unbleached bone that my tech did a lovely job cutting both on the uh, the bridge and on the nut. Um, just just a great guitar. It really handles handles uh, all the altered tunings that I use really well. It's currently in dadgad, but it'll get down to a C or a B on the low string um, and and just projects and it, it it's sweet and it's it's resonant and. Uh, Inspiring, which was the really important part, is I've I've kind of since getting this guitar shifted entirely to playing acoustic guitars for the most part, um, and it's because of the way that this thing responds in the hand and the way that it holds notes. Um, that was something that was really important to me after playing this guitar. I, I had never had an acoustic where I could play. notes and it would hold on to them all and kind of have that, that ghosting thing that a resonator does but on a, on a regular on a flat top um, so just a very inspiring uh, companion I, I play other guitars but this is the one that that won't leave uh, anytime soon so that's my Martin HD28 that I used to record with Loaming